When we think of genes, we think of denim. But are they the same? True, the terms are interchanged across the globe under the assumption that they mean the same thing. Genes have been around for decades and will be there for many more to come. They make a strong fashion statement, are versatile, and can be used roughly. This is reason enough to clear the confusion. First, let's look at what genes are. The birth of an iconic fashion statement, jeans. Let's face it, you will have a hard time finding a person who doesn't wear jeans today. Men wear them, women wear them, and yes, they have also made an entry into the infant fashion scene. It may be hard for you to believe but the pair of jeans lying in your wardrobe first appeared on the scene in 1873. The garment was designed to strengthen the pants used by local laborers using rivets and studs to ensure they didn't tear easily with rough use. The rivets placed strategically on pockets, and at the base of the fly became an instant hit. Levy was an astute businessman. Along with Jacob, who had fashioned the garment, they launched their product. As we can see, there was no turning back after that. Garment manufacturers cashed in on the demand and other denim jean brands began cashing in on what was a money maker. Jean pants have gained a lot of popularity with students and youngsters. However, men and women of all ages wear the garment. What makes it the garment of choice is its versatility. They don't require ironing or frequent washes. They are sturdy and don't wear easily. The thick material gives insulation even in cold climates. The blue color is synonymous with jeans. However, many other colors have been introduced since then. Denim of fabric. Denim is a fabric used to make jeans. However, the use of the fabric is not restricted to jean pants. It has also found use in skirts, jackets, and bags. The fabric has made a foray into the shoe industry too, in the past few decades. There is also a niche market for denim in the furniture industry. The denim brand fabric, when used in upholstery, gives the room a unique and classy look. Denim fabric is a woven material made with warp yarn and consists of blue and white threads. This gives it a distinct look of diagonal parallel lines in white and blue shades. A series of processes are involved in manufacturing the final product and it can be dyed in the color of choice. Wet denim is more suitable for skinny jeans and jeans that are soft to the touch. Dry denim, on the other hand, is a fabric that is not washed after the process of dyeing it is over. The material is ideal for regular fit and is a lot tougher. Made from 100% cotton twill, denim is very durable. This makes jeans, which are made from denim, also long-lasting. Durability, however, depends on the processing of that particular fabric. To put it succinctly, all jeans are denim fabric but not all denim is jeans. Technically speaking, you can make jeans out of any fabric. A vast variety of non-denim jeans have found their way into store shelves. As far as the colors go, black and white, which are very popular, are made from indigo dye. However, denim jeans are by far the most popular. Indigo the distinct color that identifies denim. Most jeans available in the market today use synthetic indigo dye. Real indigo dye is made from fermented plants, making it eco-friendly. These, however, are rare. They do cost more, but you get bragging rights and do your bit for the environment, all in one go. When jeans made their first appearance on the scene, they had more to do with functionality and durability and less to do with aesthetics. The pockets were designed for easy access for tools and other paraphernalia. They had sturdy seams to reinforce the fabric. Things changed after the deindustrialization of America. Workers didn't need to wear jeans that often. This led to a supply chain that had lost its demand. Converting what had up to then been a garment for workers into an appealing fashion accessory was an easy matter. Hollywood Westerns showcased actors like John Wayne wearing Levy's jeans, thereby forging the link between men's jeans and fashion. The next obvious step was jeans for women. Today, jeans have morphed into formal wear as well. Ripped jeans and jeans with embellishments and studs, when worn with an elegant top, give the wearer a classy look. Wear jeans, women are concerned, you are spoilt for choice, with the fits, the lengths, and the embellishments. There is a style to fit every need and occasion. While jeans for men lack extra embellishment, there are a lot of cuts and styles to choose from. The gold standard when it comes to the world of zippers is YKK. YKK emblem, stamped on the zipper of your jeans is a sign that you have bought quality. Brands like Citizens and Madewell use YKK. 
However, other brands make their own. So, this is not necessarily a defining factor for quality. Most buttons in quality jeans are engraved with the name or logo of the company. This means they are sourcing the buttons themselves. There is no denying it. The denim brand is a wardrobe staple. You can wear jeans almost anywhere these days. Dark Indigo is an absolute must. It is the most versatile and goes with anything. So, if you are thinking of buying just one, go for it. While Light Wash Blue is not as versatile, it has its charm for more casual outings. The other options are the Stay Gray and, of course, Black. Just the right pick for nighttime vacations. Though denim jeans may evolve, they are here to stay. Build up your denim wardrobe slowly, adding to your collection of colors and styles as you go along. With the variety of designs and cuts available, you are going to be spoiled for choice.